Well, good morning, Get Wrecked for Recovery crew. So it's day 78 of the Redeeming Eden Cycle Tour. <laughs> R-E-C-T, Get Wrecked for Recovery. A 48-state, four-year ride for addiction recovery awareness. Each day, we pedal for someone who's passed away from addiction, and the whole end goal is to build a rehab. And this is state number 39, Nebraska, on the Ride to Rag 2022. A 4,500-mile loop around the Midwest, Ohio to Erie Trail, <laughs> Michigan's Upper Peninsula, Glacier National Park, Yellowstone National Park, the Cowboy Trail, and Easter Rag Ride the last week of July. This month. Uh, nine days. And it's all to raise awareness that addiction recovery options are available. That you don't have to die in your addiction. There's churches, celebrate recoveries and rescue missions all over the nation, all over the world, that just want to help you, talk to you, and love you if you find yourself battling addiction. Uh, so yeah, it feels like just a minute ago we were in in the day yesterday. It's just like time flies when you're YouTubing, man. I feel like that was, I mean, that was at least 12 hours ago, and it feels like it was 37 seconds ago. That's crazy. So today, <laughs> we're going to head out um, to uh, Long Pine, and we're going to try and find this little place to swim. There's a little uh, place, restaurant, right over here. That's not it. That's a storage bin. Oh, that's a storage bin. It's like... Well, we thought that was it last night when we recorded the end of the video. It's like that way. Okay. So, yeah, we're going to go eat at Ma's Cafe, and then we are going to get on the old dusty trail, the cowboy trail, and we are going to head east. Um, Long Pine has a state recreation area. Uh, there's a couple of pools along the way, and then Bassett has a city pool, and that's where we're trying to make it to. Courtney Crowder with the Des Moines Register, uh, and USA Today is supposed to meet us uh, either tonight or tomorrow morning. Uh, do the film the interview portion of the Ragbri, uh, Ragbri 50 year documentary, um, and then kind of film us as we head out down the cowboy trail toward Ragbri. So, Still have to coordinate all that, still have a lot of things to do, but the main thing we need to do is beat the heat today. Uh, I'm going to try to work on yesterday's video when we get up here to Long Pine and like get it edited and cut and maybe even uploaded, I don't know. Uh, but I do need to get caught up on work. I can't just swim all work and no play <laughs> makes Jack a dull boy. Maybe I should swim. <laughs> Either way, uh, we are going to get on the road and yeah. Uh, feels pretty good today. I think we got a little bit of a tailwind. Yeah, that'll be nice. And, uh, yeah, we're going to keep on pedaling. My thighs are killing me. All those front flips and back flips and Barani flips and McTwists. And... My thighs are killing me from when I go down the slide with 50 other people. Yeah, he They did. stop right there in the middle of the slide. So, like, I'll either flip up on the side and just go around them, or I will wham, head first into their back or whatever. Yeah, this kid's sliding skills are epic. I've never seen a better slider. You are. No? No? I'm not, I don't slide as well as you do. I did see a pretty good slider at um, Hardee's one time. It was a buffalo chicken slider. I like that one. <laughs> Anyway, let's get on the road. We love you guys. <laughs> we'll see you later. So we just went and ate. We had a great breakfast there at Ma's Cafe. And now we have come back up to the park. Spent our time in the shade. Uh, and it is time to hit the road running. 
are riding. Which one do you prefer to do today, sir? Ride. Ride. All right, we're going to ride our bikes. All right, you'll see more of all that. I sure hope they got a lot of that at Ragbri. That is so cold. Oh man, it is pushing a hundred degrees outside today. And to get hit by that like It feels so cold. cold well water, it's a good thing. Now that that's out of the way, that's some um, cold water. that was really cold water. We actually went here to the Elbow Room Saloon and ate. Uh, met a lady named Lynn and her husband. Uh, he's got a victory story. He went to a program down in Baton Rouge. Turns out they lived in Mobile, like right near Alberta, uh, in Alberta, right near Mobile. Uh, and then met like four other guys uh, who wanted to like get a selfie with us, and they were going to share Redeeming Eden on their socials. So thank you so much, guys. And uh, yeah, now that we're nice and cooled off, we're gonna make a 10 mile jaunt into this uh, 98 degree day. And go jump in a pool. Yeah, and try to get to Ainsworth to their city pool where we'll take our next break before we do the last 10 miles into Long Pine. So that's what you're about to see. Right about now.
All right, so we just went here to the pool in uh, Ainsworth. Yep, and uh, came out, and Liam's got a flat tire. Uh, we actually heard it pop earlier, and I think it was one of these goat heads uh, that we've been told about on the cowboy trail. It's like a thorn that just, let me see if I can get that to zoom in on my hand. Yeah, it's like a thorn, but if it sets itself up just right on the tire, it goes straight in. So, uh, now I've got to change the tire, and then we've got to keep riding. My bathing suit's torn too, so i got to get another bathing suit, and Liam lost his somewhere. No idea where he lost his bathing suit. So we got to go bathing suit shopping, get dinner, and then we've still got to make it 10 more miles um, to long time before the end of the day. So this changes things a little bit, but hey, it wouldn't be a bike tour if it didn't. So here goes nothing. All right, so I don't want to get a copyright strike from the music again, but that was two flat tires. There were goat heads all around that thing. And so I finally come up with Liam's trail name. Goathead. It is Goathead. Uh, it just seems totally fitting for the the situation we just had. Anyway, that set us way back. Uh, we gotta go get dinner. We still gotta get bathing suits. It's seven o'clock now at night. Um, yeah, I may have to like recalculate and not go to Long Pine and do something here. I have no idea, but I've got to look that up now and at least get in touch with Courtney uh, Crowder and let her know what's going on. Right. So we'll figure it out, and uh, yeah, we'll keep you guys updated. We gotta go eat. Love you guys. See you later. Alright, so we just rolled in here to the Pizza Hut in Ainsworth, and while we were sitting there, uh, Amanda came up and she was talking to us. And, uh, she works here and she was like, hey, um, I wanted to bring you your check early. She said, I'm just bringing it early. I know you guys had not got your food or anything yet, uh, because we took 50% off of your meal tonight. Um, so that was super cool. Then afterwards, she gave Liam a little token for a free uh, personal pan pizza. I'll go get it. Like it's a, uh, no, you don't have to go get it. Um, which is just super cool. Like, we were totally not expecting any of that. Uh, trying to figure everything out on where we're going to stay. And it looks like we're going to go to the city park here in town uh, and stay there. So We were going to stay right next door, but... Mm -mm. Yeah, it was like $65 to stay at the um, uh, Super 8 next door. And I just couldn't see spending that when there's a park here that could have electrical and everything we need. So. I can always stay the district. So we're going to head that way and you'll see more of that. Right about there. So after Pizza Hut, we rolled down here to the park and we got checked in. It was only $5 for us to camp here, which was pretty cool. Uh, I guess they usually charge more. Uh, the guy was riding around on his little tractor, gave us the envelope and said $5. So I guess that may be the cycle tourist rate or maybe it's that half off discount rate. I, I tell you what, that, that moment in Pizza Hut when we looked down and saw that the bill was half off was just so cool. Uh, I talked to Courtney Crowder. She said that she, they're actually staying in Ainsworth right near this park. Uh, she made sure to let me know like that the footage of us packing up our tent in the morning is crucial uh, for the documentary. So she said, do not pack up till we get there. And I was like, I will not pack up till y'all get here. Uh, yeah, other than that. And that means I can sleep. 
sleep in. Yes, they're not coming till nine o'clock, so I tried to pick a little spot here where hopefully the uh, sun would be blocked by these trees. Um, and the pool that we actually swam in is right under this water tower, right there. But yeah, other than the goat heads in the tower uh, from old goat head earlier uh, today, uh, I think we had a really good day. It was 20 something miles. Uh, still trying to decide whether or not to just take uh, and go down the highway. I think that's what we're probably gonna do because I can't chance it. I don't have any more tubes. I've got a patch kit, but how many times can you patch a tube before it just won't, you know, patch anymore? Uh, I don't know. I don't know the answers to those questions. So hopefully we won't have to find out. Uh, I can get somebody to bring us some tubes to the beginning of Ragbri, and at least we can make it, you know, the 150 something miles we've got to go to get there. Uh, yeah, all in all, really good day. So we're going to end the video here for the day. So I can get this cut, edited, uploaded, and sent out to you guys. I got the other one yesterday's uploaded from the Pizza Hut. They had super fast Wi-Fi. It was really nice. But yeah, if you know anybody who's passed away from addiction in any form or fashion, please drop their name in the comments or find us through the Popple link in the description. Thank you so much, Get Rec for Recovery Crew. Every one of you that is liking every video, commenting on every video, sharing every video, and those of you that have subscribed to the YouTube channel. The analytics love it, and we do too, and who knows, it might save a life. Uh, don't forget, Redeeming Eden is a nonprofit ministry through International Gospel Outreach. Uh, that link is also in the Popple link. You can go there and find out more about Redeeming Eden and about the Cody Jordan Forever Funeral Fund, which is a fund I started to help families that lose loved ones to addiction with paying funeral costs. So yeah, from here at the East City Park in Ainsworth, Nebraska, Nebraska State 39. <laughs> We're not in South Dakota anymore, buddy. We are another state down. Uh, <coughs> Ainsworth, interestingly enough, these are all horseshoe pits. Uh, they had horseshoe pits here and here and held the world championships in the late 80s and early 90s. Uh, interesting little tidbit about Ainsworth, Nebraska. They held two world championships. Two world championships for horseshoes. Uh, we're not going to sling any horseshoes tonight, though. But one thing we do know, we love you guys. Jesus loves you. We'll see you later. <laughs>